the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have put up a glamorous front just hours after a 6.2 magnitude earthquake struck during the third day of their royal tour in New Zealand. Meghan Markle stunned in an elegant cream dress, beige trench coat and nude pumps as she and Prince Harry greeted excited fans in Wellington. The royal couple appeared relaxed despite the quake striking during their duties about 3.20 p.m. at a location halfway between Wellington and Auckland. Meghan swept her hair into a low-hanging bun while Harry donned a smart navy blue suit, matching dresses shoes and a white button-up collared shirt. The pair entered Curtin A Creative, in Wellington, hand in hand and beamed as they were greeted by actors in medieval costume before posing for a photo with a larger theatrically dressed group. They were visiting Pillars, a charity operating across New Zealand that supported children who have a parent in prison by providing special mentoring schemes. Meghan presented an award to Orla Angie, with the pair posing with a framed certificate as they stood on stage. Harry appeared particularly pleased at the team pillar hooded jumper he received as a gift, while Meghan also posed happily with what appeared to be a set of blankets wrapped in orange ribbon. Most royal fans can only dream of getting a selfie with a favorite member of the family, but one little boy now boasts an impressive four. Max Henry, 10 was among the hundreds of well-wishers who braved the rain to see the royals on their last city walkabout on their 16-day tour. And he had one specific goal for the day, to get selfies with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The youngster met William and Kate when they visited New Zealand in 2014 and held laminated copies of photos, hoping to catch the Sussex's eyes. The couple were given flowers and toys for their unborn baby, including a finger puppet from Zoe Bliss Curry, during their walkabout at Viaduct Harbour in Auckland. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first engagement of the day was a trip to a native bush reserve at Redvale on the city's north shore. The royal couple's main focus of the visit was to dedicate the 20-hectare bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. They unveiled a plaque recognizing the dedication to the QCC, which conserves indigenous forests for future generations, before planting trees at the site. But it was the Wellington boot throwing contest involving local schoolchildren which proved to be a hit with the crowds who turned out for the royal visit. Meghan's team emerged victorious, with the Duchess proving quite the natural in the unusual contest, given it was most likely her first time partaking in such a sport. She had swapped a stylish navy blue blazer for a black hooded zip-up jacket with a QEII National Trust logo for the occasion, the same jacket her husband wore. The $219 Wellington boots worn by the couple are from the original Mock Boot Company. Meghan pressed her forehead and nose up against another woman for the traditional holly greeting while shaking her hand at a ceremony to dedicate the area of native bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. Please like, comment, and subscribe to channel. Thank you for watching my video.